are lytic lesions always cancer? Have you ever wondered what lytic lesions are and whether they always indicate cancer? Let's break it down. Lytic lesions, also known as osteolytic lesions or bone lysis, are areas in the bone where tissue has been destroyed, leaving holes or gaps. These lesions can be seen on radiological images like x-rays, CT scans, or MRI. Now, the question is, are these lesions always a sign of cancer? Not necessarily. While it's true that some cancers can cause lytic lesions, such as bone metastasis from breast, prostate, lung, or kidney cancers, or multiple myeloma, which is a type of bone marrow cancer, there are other causes as well. For instance, inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid arthritis or ankylosing spondylitis can lead to bone destruction and lytic lesions. Bone infections, such as osteomyelitis, can also cause these lesions. Even non-cancerous conditions like bone cysts, granulomas, or giant cell lesions can result in lytic lesions. In multiple myeloma, for example, the cancer cells disrupt the normal balance between bone breakdown and bone buildup by activating osteoclasts to break down bone uncontrollably and inhibiting osteoblasts that build new bone. This imbalance leads to weakened bones and lytic lesions, which can cause painful fractures. To determine the cause of a lytic lesion, healthcare professionals use a combination of clinical evaluation, imaging tests, and sometimes a biopsy. The treatment depends on the underlying cause, ranging from therapies for the underlying disease to surgery to stabilize the affected bone. So while lytic lesions can be associated with cancer, they are not always a sign of it. There are many other potential causes, and a thorough diagnosis is necessary to understand what's going on.